Hi guys. Oh. How are you? How are you doing? How's everything been? Welcome back to one of my YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Today we are going to be going through what's in my gym bag and what equipment I use for the gym. Everything that I'm gonna mention in this video is gonna be linked in my Amazon storefront. And I just wanna preface this by saying that this is not stuff that I bring every time I go to the gym. I never bring all of this stuff at once. Based on what I'm doing that day, I'll bring certain equipment and I'll leave certain stuff at home. So this is just a general, what equipment I use kind of video. If I sound a little stuffed up, I'm sorry. I'm currently getting over a sinus infection. Mm lucky me so I do sound a little bit stuffy but we're gonna get through this video either way because it don't matter if I'm sick I'm still gonna push out some content for y'all so let's just go ahead and jump right into it this is my precious baby I know that she's big we don't shame here literally when I started working out my friends used to make fun of me because I used to bring all of my shit in my bag I never needed to do that and I know that now it's only stuffed because I have all of my stuff in here this time for the purpose of the video but yeah my friends used to tell me I carry my entire house with me I did at one point yeah we are going to start small and then get big so let's go ahead and open her up so the very first thing I always keep in my gym bag unless I'm charging them of course are my headphones I stopped using AirPods the moment that I got these. These completely transformed the gym game for me. I literally, like, these make me feel like I can't hear anything else. As you can see, I did the custom drip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. But yeah, this is always a step one. I have AirPods, but I always prefer to use these just because who doesn't like somebody yelling and screaming at them as they're trying to hit a PR? I know I do. Next is resistance bands. Let me tell you something. If you are new to the gym, do not shy away from these. These are great for stretching. If you've watched my previous videos, when I do stretch, I always use this pink one to stretch my upper body. And sometimes if I want a little extra tension, I'll use the blue one. I also have a set of cloth resistance bands, but I use those specifically for when I'm home. They help me with stretching. They help me with my mobility. And it's also a great way to add a little bit of extra challenge to a workout if you wanted to. Next up, I have my waist trainer. I don't always wear this. I really only wear this on the days that I do cardio, but in efforts to not lose it i keep it in my gym bag at pretty much all times if i'm not in the gym i know that some people say that waist trainers don't work or that it just squishes for a second and then as soon as you stop using it it goes right back to looking how it used to but personally for me the entire time i've ever used waist trainers i've always gone down in the size it seems to work for me but that's just a personal preference next i have my handy dandy knee straps i only have one at the moment i think the other one's in my car i absolutely love these these change the game for me i started lifting heavy around the time that i got these two and i am so grateful that i got them when i got them because right when i started squatting over 200 pounds these came in clutch i literally learned how to do hack squats perfectly because i had knee straps if you have have any kind of tension in your knee when you work out I would suggest obviously going lighter weight but if not get you some knee straps and I promise you that you're gonna be able to push through that workout like you don't feel nothing what power lifter do you know can live without straps because I don't know a single one of them honey I love my straps these babies have been with me since the very very beginning of my fitness journey and you can obviously tell because they literally look like they've been chewed up by a rottweiler i love them either way i also use these when i want to go heavy on certain rowing or like cable workouts that i can't fully pull the weight my grip strength isn't there where i want it to be but i am strong so like for example with like cable rows i'll use this and i'll use my straps to make sure that i can actually grip the piece because i know i can pull the weight but sometimes my grip strength will stop me these are my go-to so here i have yet another resistance band this i actually didn't get from amazon i got this from five below but this one's specifically great for mobility when i go in and i just want to do some cardio just really get my body moving and stretching feeling right i love the big resistance band i can tie this over a bar and i can use it to put my foot on to help me with pull-ups next are my weighted jump ropes now these i love because the days that i don't feel like hopping on the treadmill and i'm sure we all have those days I love jump roping. This is really fun for me. I love finding different ways that I can get cardio done. That's not boring because cardio is the one thing that I dislike the most besides abs in the gym, but it is necessary. You have to train your heart muscle the way that you train the rest of your muscles. So 
I really like jump roping every now and then just to switch it up. And if you find a good song and a good groove, you can do like 10 minutes of this straight, I promise you. Now, this would be an example of obviously something that I only bring on a leg day. This is my barbell pad. Fun fact, I didn't get this on Amazon. I probably can find one of these on Amazon for you guys that looks similar, but I got this because my gym gave it to me. A member had left it there for like forever and it was in the lost and found. And as you can see, all my equipment's pink. So I had to snatch it up. Of course I sanitized it and all that stuff. I bring her with me every leg day. I'm talking like I use her for hip thrusts. Sometimes I'll use her for squats on the Smith. Just if like my neck is hurting or something we all had those little marks on our neck because of the barbell before it's so much easier than using a mat or a sweater or something to put over your waist it just provides that comfort but still allows you to get like a full range of motion and be comfortable while you're hip thrusting so i love this and last but not least is my baby my powerlifting belt i get a lot of questions as to where i got this belt from i got it from amazon it was pretty cheap and it's honestly really durable i believe this is some kind of leather i'm not gonna lie i just don't know what before this one i did have a actual belt belt that was cool and all but you know the lever is just so much more satisfying like who doesn't want to click when they're done hitting a pr because i know i do i love that shit and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all of my equipment. Again, all of the things that I mentioned today are gonna be linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys. You can also see them in action if you go to my other social media accounts, my Instagram, my TikTok. I'm gonna link those below for you. They'll also be all my socials at the end if you do wanna keep up with me and follow me on my other platforms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this informational. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave any comments with any questions. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Love you. Bye.